The Honourable Member for Salisbury, White Rock. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. We know that our Special Forces King Air Intelligence Surveillance and Reconnaissance Platform was monitoring the truckers' convoy protest on Parliament Hill. The Prime Minister has called it a training flight. If the government was prepared to send up ISR aircraft over the protest, what was it doing to gather intelligence on the ground? Because one doesn't engage one without the other. My question is, what was the coordination between public safety, national defence, Canadian forces, Privy Council and the Prime Minister's office during the protest. The Honourable Minister of National Defence. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to reiterate what the Prime Minister said last week a number of times for my honourable colleague's benefit. The flight in question was part of a Canadian Armed Force training exercise that was planned prior to and was unrelated to the convoy protest. The training had nothing to do with the convoy blockade, Mr. Speaker, and we'll continue to reiterate that fact. Thank you. The Honourable Member for, uh, we'll do this again, South Surrey White Rock. Mr. Speaker, we know a Special Forces surveillance flight took place. We know the government even let the health agency spy on Canadians' liquor habits during oh. COVID. The Prime Minister has called it a training exercise. What does the government think an ISR does for training? Just fly around in circles? It gathers intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance over that target. And that target clearly was the protest. Two questions. Who was that reconnaissance platform? And reporting to when gathering intelligence on Canadians, and what special policing authorities were granted to Canadian forces at that time? Good question. The Honourable Minister of National Defence. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to reiterate that the assumptions underlining that question are misguided. Again, the Canadian Armed Forces flight was part of a training exercise. The exercise was planned prior to and was unrelated to the presence of the protesters and the convoy. The opposition doesn't seem to appreciate or like this point, Mr. Speaker, but it is the truth. Thank you. Order. Order. The Honourable Member for Charlebourg, Haute Saint Charles. Mr. Speaker, the Defence Minister has said that this was planned long before the convoy, but the operations lasted four days. There was cell phone communication, and the question is simple. Was the information gathered, did that serve the government, or was it destroyed? <laughs> The Honourable Minister of National Defence, Mr. Speaker, as I've already said in English, the flight in question was part of a training exercise. The Canadian Armed Forces conducted that exercise. The training had nothing to do with the convoy, and that's the fact. The Honourable Member for Winnipeg Centre. Mr. 